everybody. I'm Barry Lynn, the Cheese Impresario, here for Cheese Rules. Today we're going to take a trip to Tuscany and we're also going to go to Wisconsin. We're going to have a beautiful Sartori selection of cheeses. The wine that I've chosen to pair with these cheeses is the Nipizzano. It's actually from the smallest region in Chianti. It's the Rufina. It's a stunning wine. Actually, the Sartori family uses this wine when they have some of the retailers come in for cheese tastings. They love it so much, and I do too. It's fantastic. The cheeses that I chose today are really, it's a blue vein cheese. This is the Dolcina Gorgonzola. And then I chose two flavored cheeses, Asiago's, one with rosemary and olive oil. It permeates all the way through. And the other one is dried tomato, spices, and herbs. Really an Italian uh, combination that absolutely is stunning with this wine. And while I'm talking about wine, I'm gonna pour myself a little glass. And notice I have a little ring on the bottle. I love these, these make wonderful gifts. You just put it on, put it on the bottle. It doesn't drip all over your tablecloth and your friends. So I took a little bit of the wine, uh, the Nipizzano, and I'm going to do the tomato. And normally what I do whenever I have a cheese with a rind that you can eat or a rind that's flavored, I take a bite of the paste first. Because you might not like the rind. I love it, but you might not. So you take a little bite down the highway with the wine. I'm getting the berries. I'm getting the dark cherries. I'm getting a spice coming around. Now we're going to try the rosemary olive oil Asiago. Notice I just took a little piece and also notice that I used a different knife. These are birdie knives. These are like unbelievable from Italy, handmade. And I used a different knife for each cheese because you want to keep the true flavors of each of the cheeses, not pollute them with other flavors. Okay, here we go. These are just such easy pairings and you can also take these cheeses, make a plain pasta, put a little olive oil on it, grate them up, have the Nipizzano with the pasta, absolutely stunning. New knife, new cheese, here we go. The Dolcina Gorgonzola, creamy, not too salty, really, so it doesn't really cover up the wine. Some blue cheeses kind of cover up the wine. They have a little bit of a fight with red wine, but not this. Cheers. Oh, these are just pairings you're gonna love. If you wanna put a little olive oil on your gorgonzola, it's really nice, a little Tuscan olive oil to make another bridge to this Tuscan wine. Fantastic. Notice I've got figs, I love figs. You can put the cheese right on the figs. Throw some beautiful pistachios. I love these um, organic pistachios from Santa Barbara Pistachio Company. You've seen me pair three great cheeses from the Sartori family with a terrific, terrific Tuscan wine, the Nipizzano. This is something really easy you can all do with your friends and family. Enjoy.